Peat Zorb is made from 100% natural sphagnum peat moss. It absorbs oil and chemicals on land as well as water. It has the ability to absorb 8 to 12 times its own weight in contaminants. It encapsulates these contaminants and is non-leaching, making it EPA approved for sanitary landfill disposal. It is a non-abrasive product, it does not contain silica, and is environmentally friendly and cost effective. Today I will be demonstrating the efficiency of peat sorb versus a traditional clay product such as oil dry. First what I'm going to do is build two berms, one with the clay product and one with peat sorb. Now I'm going to add two equal amounts of transmission fluid to each berm. What we will be looking for here is the ability of each product to contain the spill. Because clay products do not have any wicking properties about them, the transmission fluid has coated the outside of the clay granules and is not actually absorbed into the clay. These products can be referred to as adsorbents. What makes peatsorb so unique is that it is made up of barrel cells. These barrel cells allow the peat to encapsulate the pollutants. The chemical is actually whipped into the cell structure and will not leach. Natural acids in the cell then slowly digest the pollutant molecules, leaving behind environmentally friendly carbon dioxide, water, and fatty acids. The spent peat can then be incinerated or disposed of in a sanitary landfill. Clay, however, cannot be incinerated and must go to a hazardous landfill for disposal. You will notice with the peat sorb pile, there are no signs of leaching around the outside of the berm and that it is contained the entire spill. As we look at the clay pile, you will notice that the transmission fluid has leached out around the outside of the berm, not containing the spill.
As I begin to mix up the clay with the transmission fluid, you will notice the transmission fluid has basically coated the outside of the clay granules and has not actually been absorbed by the clay. You can see there's a significant amount of transmission fluid left behind. Now we'll bring in our recycled peat sorb to clean up the excess transmission fluid left behind from the clay granules. 